Hey guys, what's going on? Today I got some face studies, male face studies based off of Punisher from uh, one of my favorite comics of all time. This uh, Jim Lee, early, early Jim Lee uh, Punisher meets Wolverine series from the Punisher War Journal, which is, I think, one of Jim Lee's, I think it was his first series that he started painting on. The first one he inked and then he, uh, that was with Carl Potts. And then he did his own pencils and this came out uh, issue number seven. And it was, it was like the thing that got me really into Jim Lee as well as in the Punisher. So anyway, the Punisher's face is really kind of scowly, like mm, kind of thing. Um, he's always got this like thing going on. And I really like the way Jim Lee does that. So I take a, a couple of cracks at this here. Let's, uh, let's get the time-lapse going. So this is a uh, study in perspective to start off with the Loomis head, the Loomis head in perspective. Um, and there's my Loomis skull to kind of work as a reference. And believe it or not, I was showing off my mosquito bites there on my arm. Um, but it's all time-lapse and it doesn't mean anything when it's in fast motion. It just looks ridiculous. But this is actually a pretty good um, study that happens here in pencil. Like the perspective is pretty clear. I was happy with it. And then I decided, well, you know, I'm just going to do a study. Oh, oh, look, it's it's a birthday card from my dad. And uh, I had to show that too, but of course, it's in fast motion. Um, love my dad. He, the card came a whole month late in the mail because of COVID, like more than a month. It's it's so, it's what a weird time, what a weird, but anyway, he gave me the card and there was 50 bucks in it too, which is always great. You know, like I'm 45 and my dad sends me 50 bucks in a birthday card. It's the greatest, it's the greatest. Um, so anyway, this is this is a it was a decent drawing and then i made him look like he's got covid you know like he's just a sick guy he's tired um <laughs> this is really it just came out awful so i go and i go into jim lee's um uh book here and i i get some reference and i think i'm i'm looking up something here but you can see i'm already working in perspective yeah there's the reference so i got it in my phone a couple of different pictures of him doing punisher just to get the sense of um like the way he does the eyes and the way he does the mouth and the scowl and the whole thing you know i really like that so this is my first crack at drawing punisher you know since i was a kid and drawing comic style which you know it's uh it, it's a real challenge especially for this this old guy here who's been painting and uh, doing like portraits of women for the past month. <laughs> so Punisher is a, a, a whole different animal than drawing a girl. So anyway, uh, yeah, I go in with the brush pens, get used to my, my feud style brush pens. And this ends up being not so bad. I mean, it's not awful. It's still like totally not like a finished product. I would never actually do this professionally in a comic but you can kind of see how I'm working through it and figuring things out and messing up on the hair and what have you but it looks like the Punisher so as far as I'm concerned success success here this this was a good little study and then I got a couple more coming uh, in the pipe here all right so another Loomis style head, but this time looking up. Although it was supposed to be a Loomis style head, but it ends up kind of looking like at this point it looks like Sandman from um, from Marvel from the uh, Spider-Man universe. And then I'm gonna doctor this a whole lot because I really don't like it because I didn't do the first Loomis sketch. That's why if you try to do something just from your head without doing all the basic work, it's not gonna come out very good. So I go and get my comic book for reference and I start fixing them up as best I can changing the proportions changing the angle slightly trying to get the scowl his, his mouth is too high and his chin is too big uh, it's just it's just a train wreck it's just a, look at all these mistakes but you know this is why you sketch this is this is where this stuff happens as a sketchbook so you know just got to do it you just got to get up and draw and draw some more and keep on drawing and make mistakes and whatever. And if you're like me, you make a YouTube video documenting your mistakes because it's awesome. Why not? You know, everyone else can see it now. Whatever. Just keep on going. 
So I take my nib pen, love my nib pen, and go to town, have some fun with that. The weird thing is this ends up looking so much like the reference, uh, Jim Lee, Jim Lee style. It's like, you know, to Jim Lee. <laughs> but at this point, it, it does, doesn't look like Jim Lee, but it gets to be more and more like him, like his work as it goes on. And, you know, he was the guy that I studied the most when I was a teenager, was his work in Punisher War Journal. So he's the one that really got me drawing in the first place. Not a big fan of the hair. Not, and I mess a lot with the hair with um, different kinds of whiteouts. I got like three or four different kinds of whiteouts to try to get that right, and it just ends up looking awful. Now he looks like Superman. So it looks like later Jim Lee. Look at that, a Superman. If my goal was to try to draw like Jim Lee, that's mission accomplished, I guess. Um, ah, whatever. You got to start somewhere, right? And Jim Lee, I mean, you can do worse and start off with him for sure. Jim Lee, David Finch, Jason Sean Alexander, Ethan Van Skyver, um, uh, Todd McFarlane, uh, Simon Bisley, Frank Frazetta, John Buscema. So many killer artists in the comics. So here's one last head. And I'm using my skull as reference here to try to figure out the anatomy from this point of view. See how the, the cheekbones kind of pull out from the, the skull? I never knew that. You know, and you look at a skull and you figure, oh yeah, that makes sense. But then you actually draw it and it starts to come together in your head. So this here, I'm making an attempt at doing the Punisher scowl after doing an anatomy study. You know, of a skull underneath. I don't know if it's too successful or not, but it definitely was fun. Just drinking some coffee here. Yeah, again, the hair. I need to work on the lines in the hair. But the face itself didn't actually come out too bad. And I really work in the jawline here to get the jaw looking decent. And I got that scowl. Like the most important part, why I started doing these in the first place was to get that kind of scowl that he has, his mug sticking out. Like the Arnold Schwarzenegger look, you know? I think that's what they were kind of referencing back in the day or some Arnold movies. His face, like in Predator, for instance. Yeah, see, this is like the third or fourth different kind of whiteout I'm using to try to test them, and it's just not working for me. I'm going to figure out my own particular way of inking hair. It's going to happen, but I, I haven't got it yet. Oh, good. My camera froze. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Awesome. Hold on. All right. Well, there we go. Did my best today. Hopefully, this thing doesn't freeze again on me. Uh, we'll see you soon. I'm going to get out of here now before things really just go south. Have a good one. Bye now.